There were so many things to see and do at the Game On Expo 2023 in Phoenix that I attended yesterday, but one thing that really captured my heart was this awesome Art of Nintendo Power Collection. This exhibit, this curated collection, was actually tucked away in this corner meeting room, and once I walked in the doors, I was absolutely blown away by what I saw, that I had to make this video and share it with all of you. The owner of this collection, Steven, as well as his friends, have curated this amazing collection of original artwork as well as Nintendo Power uh, collectibles, magazines, it, and it's, it's just absolutely incredible to see when you have actual pages from the Nintendo Power magazines we grew up with side by side with the original artwork that was drafted and created and used in all of these magazine articles. It's an absolutely stunning collection. They tour the West Coast conventions, so if you guys see it, you definitely need to walk through and check this out. I was just mesmerized by everything that I saw because this kind of stuff really interests me, man. And just like a lot of the viewers who watch this channel, one thing that I read growing up was Nintendo Power. That's what we had before the internet. We had all these great magazines that gave us tips and tricks and guides and walkthroughs on how to beat levels in games, how to beat bosses, things like that. And the fact that they've gone back to the original artists, or they tracked down the artists, uh, or just picked these things up wherever they could, where they could find the original artwork from the artist who drew these for the magazine, and which this artwork then ended up on the pages of the magazine, is truly awesome in my opinion. I think this is such a cool exhibit that people really need to give it a chance when they see it at their conventions. I mean, personally, I think it's truly awesome to see stuff like this Castlevania magazine cover or artwork cover page that they had the original pencil sketch, the original pencil sketch from the artist framed in this collection. Very cool. But I'm going to shut up now. Just let you enjoy the next minute or two. Let me know in the comments if you recognize any of this artwork, any of these pages, any of these magazine covers from your past in the comments after this video is over. But I'll be back right at the very end of the video to show off the most amazing piece of artwork they had in this collection that absolutely blew my mind and has a great story behind it. All right, we're back, and it's time to tell you about my favorite piece of artwork in this entire collection. This right here, Super Castlevania IV, this Nintendo Power magazine cover. They did an initial sketch. They got the, the original sketches in the collection, but then they had this commissioned and worked on as an oil painting. This is the original oil painting used to make the cover of that magazine. 
and they have it in their collection. And not only that, this is the only time, per the guys I talked to who own this collection, this is the only time in Nintendo Power's history they actually used an oil painting as the render for the cover that we ended up seeing on the magazine. And it was just absolutely stunning to look at that painting. Walking through this exhibit was like walking through history. I truly, truly enjoyed it. But I want to know what your guys' favorite piece was. What was your favorite piece of artwork or memory? Anything get triggered? Definitely let me know. Give me your comments, feedback, reactions below. Thanks for checking out this video. Do me a favor. Give me a thumbs up on the way out. And as always, thank you for subscribing.